Let's see if anybody's here. Let me know if you're in the house. Send me a message. I mean, write a comment. It's been a while since I've been on uh, live. Overdue for a live. Anybody there? Oh, I'm going to message somebody to tell them I'm online. Because I never do this. Uh, I never plan these things, you know. Let's see. So, what's everybody up to? What you making? Have you been to Hobby Lobby? Have you bought any yarn lately? I picked up, I, I made a decaf before I started. Let's see. Anybody there? Sorry, I haven't done a live lately. It's been uh, hectic here. We just had a new grandson. Been a little busy. Life's been life's been happening, you know. Hey, Cameron, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in, as they say. I know it's been a while. I guess I just been, I did put up some videos. You know how it is when life gets busy and life is tough, you know? Just, uh, just was, ah, I was just gonna message you and I just couldn't even pull you up on the phone. Glad you're here. Glad you're all here. I did go to Hobby Lobby today in the torrential rain, and I found some clearance yarn, and I probably brought more than I should have, but I try to control myself, you know? So did anybody else pick up yarn at Hobby Lobby? Or well, you don't have one, by you? I don't know. I really wanted these things, these cakes. You ever get... Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I've been super happy since I got my new grandson. So these, I got uh, a few of these. I got the blue. What do you think, Debbie? You like the blue color? Let's see. What do you mean? Uh-oh. I told you I was going to probably pick up a few things. I really like these. I always wanted to try them. And for $2 and... 24 cents the price is right as they say so i got it's uh it's 60 percent cotton and 40 percent acrylic you like it a lot well i may go back tomorrow because somebody else is asking me to pick some up and you know they'll reimburse me like something you know so i got the this i'll tell you which colors they got they got this blue they might still Oh, you don't drive. You'd have to get someone to take you. And they got yellow. Yellow looked really pretty. There was a teal I didn't buy, but, you know, it didn't look good. And I got the pink. The pink and gray. It's got pink and gray. So that's what I got. You know, I got two of each. Here, I'll hold them up together. I'll do like a crystal pretty colors oh i'll tell you what's in them whoops what happened My, there it goes i accidentally shut the screen so these are 60 percent cotton 40 percent acrylic they have 918 yards or 839 meters there's seven ounces in a cake or 198 grams and it says to use a 3.25 millimeter hook excuse me it's a gesture and these were one of the ones i really wanted because they were on clearance like i never bought i never bought them full price or with the 30 percent off you know i was tempted to use a coupon when they had it but one at a time let's say you know 
when they had the 40% off coupon. Whoops. Anybody else in the house? So what's everybody making? I'm going to show you. I did get more yarn. I'll show you in a second. Hoping somebody is going to come in. More people than you, you know. It pays to drive. Today I was pouring, pouring, pouring. It wasn't pouring the whole time. It was. I got like a third of the way there, and then it started pouring, and then like another third of the way, and then it poured for a third of the way there, and the last third it stopped raining. So it stopped raining on it, the last part of the, it's like a 15, 20 minute trip. You know, I got some sugar wheel cotton. Debbie, these are cotton. This is kind of what I was making those little bags out of. And I made this top out of the sugar wheel cotton, see? It was a cinnamon stitches top. It's kind of cute. I might, like she tells you how to make it for your size. So it's not like, you know, just one size. So the, I like these. They have like more than one color in them, of course. You know, I got, I think this is the one I got four of. And then I got three of this one. This one's called Mountain View and it's got like a wine pink gray and like a charcoal color and this one these were dollar 49. this one has they have 335 yards they had one with sparkles in it but i left it there i mean i could have got it but they were smaller even you know you know i didn't want to go too crazy i mean i do have other yarn i mean other cotton yarns and i i like these a lot What do you think, Debbie? Do you like uh, sugar wheel cotton? They didn't mark down. I looked for the solid cotton yarns, and they didn't have any solids. For sorry, like this was solid, but it was like not all one color. But they could be still working on it. And then I got some hanks. I might have got carried away with the hanks. Wait, I'll show you one of each. No. Somehow I'll have to cake these babies up. I like this one a lot. I mean, I like them all. There was one I left. It had too much white in it. So I left it. I don't know. What do you think of this? I mean, I'm sure you've been seeing it in all the, the videos, you know, everybody's getting it. I think this was probably the first day that they had to mark down the stuff. I mean, I got there at like 11 o'clock, so they probably started at nine, you know. They could have been doing it on the weekend too. I mean, I wasn't sure about this orange one, but it does have like some other speckle colors in there. You know, it looks lighter on the camera. Wait, I gotta check this chat. It's not. Hey, Dana, how you doing? I didn't see you. the The chat didn't move. It just kind of like stayed. You're becoming a big cotton. Did I send you cotton, Debbie? I think I sent you cotton. This one's pretty too. It has like, you know, like a cream and then a lot of different colors in it. You know, and there was still plenty there. And these were all $3.74 each. And I'll tell you what's in it. I think it's Susan's in the house. Hi, Susan. How you doing today? Oh, you need to see if, I don't know. If you have, yeah, if you Google it online, you should be able to find out. This, the print is really small. It says it has 400 yards. Uh, it says authentic hand dyed. Nosy Posy, this one's originally $14.99. Oh, okay. I sent you the little ones. Okay. Let's see. It's it's 100 percent superwash merino wool, which I haven't worked with wool too much. I've had some wool blends. So this color is really nice. I think Petra got this one. I was just watching her video before. She said she wasn't gonna go to Hobby Lobby and she went and she bought 
you know, she tried not to buy acrylic, but I think she did get a little acrylic. So I really wanted these, you know, that's kind of was my motivation to get these before they disappeared, you know. And I just left one behind because some of the hanks were like undone and I don't know, it had too much white. So this, this one's called Supernova. I don't know, it has like little different colors running through it, but it's like a cream color. No, and they're all Superwash Merino. I guess it's a number one. Let's see. Man, the print is, could it be any smaller? I think it's like fingering weight at number one. I can't. I need a magnifying glass to read that little. Look at this. Maybe it'll show up for you. Print's kind of small. Looks good for a baby sweater. I don't know. This one's like that peachy color. It's called uh, Coral Carrot. I saw a lot of people buying this one too. But I got three. I guess I was, I'm always thinking, uh, oh, here's Dana's in the house. Hey, Dana, how you doing? So this one looks nice. And they still had more of it, you know, at the store. As I'm in Florida, I think like maybe there's less people. I know people crochet and knit here. But, you know, I haven't run into any yawny people filling up wagons when I went, you know. Oh, you like this color? So this one's kind of peachy. But that's all I bought. <laughs> Good to see you too. Hey, Charlene, how you doing? Wash your Charlene's in the hospital. But I told her I was doing a live, so she said she'd come over. You know. So that's all I got. I got the Hanks, three of each. I mean, I guess I'm thinking shawl. What else do I think of? And then I've got plenty of, I could probably do like a shawl every week for the next year with all the yarn I have, you know? And then I got, I don't know, I don't know if uh, Dana, what do I got, both Dana's in here? Okay. The two Dana's. I don't know if they saw and Charlene saw the, the sugar wheel cotton yarn. So I got two kinds. Wait, not that one. I only got three of this one. There was some of that sugar wheel acrylic one, and there was only two of the color, and I just left it there, you know. So those are nice colors. Anyway, and I did make this little top with the sugar wheel cotton. So, and I wore it the other day over my bathing suit to the pool. We took my grandson to the pool, the community pool instead of our pool, you know, and he had fun. It was a really big pool and it wasn't crowded. And then he ended up getting hot dogs because the Boy Scouts were there like selling lunch if you wanted it. And originally we were going to go to McDonald's, you know. Let's see. Thank you, Charlene. Yeah, it came out okay. Like she said to go down and then when the two, the front and the back met, you were supposed to like, you know, I'll show you. When the front and the back met, you were supposed to attach it and probably I could have attached it sooner. I don't know, it was my first time. Came out cute. I didn't want it too long, you know. I think the Sean would make a nice beach cover up, like maybe, maybe I'll do something like that. And I'm making, I started making these little bags from the uh, that lady Tina that does the mosaic crochet. You, you sew onto the zipper and then you you work from the zipper. But there's you know she has another there's another way of doing it too. So what do you think the Apache tears, which is pretty easy actually. So I made two so far and I'm on the third one. This one kind of came out longer. I think the zipper was bigger. It fits a crochet hook, you know? I mean, when you open it, you see the inside and it's pretty tight stitches. So 
So what do you think of the bag? And this is what I'm working on now. I picked up the zipper at the uh, Walmart for, for a buck. So you sew, you, uh, she shows you how to do like a embroidery stitch and then you crochet into the stitch. This is the back. See? You start from the zipper and then you're working the round. Hey, Barbara. Your little corner of Kentucky. <laughs> well, I'm in South Florida. Where's everybody else? I know where Debbie is. So what do you think of the bag? It wasn't hard. And I was already familiar with the stitch. It's just like five single crochets. You have to do all your single crochets in the back loop. And she has a tutorial. So if you're interested, I'll put it down below later. You know? Thank you. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, Charlene. So I want to make it a little longer. Like, I want to make it longer than this one. So, like, eventually, I'll, when I get to the green row, and I got this yarn at Dollar Tree a while ago. It's cotton. Thing. I have more of it. And then I had some white. So it's not the exact same brand, but it seems to be fine. I mean, it is a little slow going because it's single crochet, but I like it. I did finish a couple other things. Oh, I didn't see her video yet, Debbie, but I did tag her in a picture of one of them that I made. And I posted it in the group, you know. Let's see. Anyway, I put the I put the StreamYard link there. If anybody's interested in coming up and showing what they're making, you know. What else did I want to show you? So a while, I won a little giveaway, but not through the Yoni community. It was through a video I made for this uh, Hope's Women's Center to help women that maybe want to keep, you know, they're not sure they want can keep their babies or whatever. So I made this video and I didn't even know there was a giveaway contest and I won an Amazon gift card and I bought a few things from there and I'm trying to remember exactly. I know I bought this thing. I bought the light. You put it on your neck. So like, yeah, you put it on your neck and then uh, like if you're crocheting and it's a little dark. This, I have this big light over here and it basically... After a while, I get so hot from it, I can't stand it. But this is good, like, you just want to see your hands, you know, if you're working on something dark, like black or navy or something. Just, you know, sometimes you just want to read at night. So I picked this up, and so far I like it. I don't find it too heavy because I don't really like things on my neck, you know. It's, you have, there's a lot of people saying they have the same one, you know. So do you guys have something like this? Anyway, so I got this. I think it was like 20 bucks. And I had the Amazon. Uh, I took the 30-day trial or something. And I had, you know, Amazon Prime. So I got free shipping. Wait. What else do I have to show you? I don't know. I just picked up a crochet hook. It's around here somewhere. I have, like, what did I do with the one I had? Like, I picked up a six millimeter. I couldn't find the six. This is a four millimeter. You know, the Susan Bates with this thing here. You know. They make neck fans, too. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think. I just, that lamp after a while. I have two lamps on right now to make me a little brighter. One is, uh, you know, it's like a, a, a one of those ring light things. I don't even think I have it pointed at me too much because... It reflects in my glasses, you know. As people say, it's dark. My pictures are dark sometimes. And then I, uh, and then I bought myself. I have a Fitbit for a long time, and I just bought myself. A, it's not crochet related, like a like a little dressy band with that gift card. But I ordered myself some zippers so I can make more of these things. 
But I know after a few more days, I'll probably need to do something more substantial. You know, I'll go back and forth like I was doing earrings a couple of weeks ago. You know, so what's in your cup? Oh, the I'm going to put the, Susan, I'm going to put the tutorial down below. Her name is Tina. And I don't, her last name is hard to say. So I'll put the tutorial afterwards down below. And so that you'll be able to see, you know, the tutorial. It's pretty easy. You're kind of working in the round. If you could, it, she shows you how to do this embroidery stitch around the zipper so that you can, uh, that you can crochet into this. You know, into the, I think it's the, the back loop. You do the, the back loop. Then, you know, then there's some double crochets. It's pretty easy. It just looks fancy, you know. Thank you. Bottle of water. Mm. Proverbs 31 is here. She's having green juice. Sounds healthy. I'm having decaf. Hopefully it won't keep me up all night, you know? So I kept going back to Michael's at first because they reduced some more of the yarn and I picked up a few of those. Uh, it's a wrap cakes. They're over there. What else? Oh, I made a shawl. I don't think I showed you. I might have posted pictures in my Instagram or on my Facebook group. I still didn't sew in the end because I was thinking about blocking it. But this was a hank that I won. Oh. Okay, so you wear a a face ma shield instead of a mask. I stop wearing my mask unless I have to. So I had the I had the vaccine, you know. You got it for a dollar? I don't think you meant a hundred dollars. Yeah, I got some for three dollars. They haven't reduced it to a dollar by me. So this was a from Ice Yarns that I won from uh, Fiber Fluzy Crafts. I don't think I haven't done a live in so long. I couldn't. I don't. I might have put it in a video. I don't know. Some people watch the lives and some people watch the videos. You know? But this is also it says hand dyed sock yarn. So this was my first real hank of yarn. Yeah, well, not everybody can get it for a dollar. Every store is different. You know, a lot of them were five dollars and they just reduced them to three dollars, some of them. The really, really thin ones, you know. So this one I won and I wanted to make something because I want it, you know. And uh it's kind of like a shawlette because it's not very big. It's very stretchy. So it's like just good for the shoulders, you know. That's all I could put a pin there or something. And I, the tutorial said it was like a, a one skein, you know, ball or something. See, can you see the, uh, it was easy. It was a one row repeat. Yeah, well, it's different when you're working somewhere that you have to wear the mask, you know. Like if I go to the doctor, I'm in Florida. So like they've kind of brought, thing, brought things down a little. We can't wear the mask forever. I hope not. I mean, if you don't get the shot, then I guess you should wear the mask. You know? It's, uh, it's up to you. Occasionally, I'll wear it. Yeah. Well, Charlene's had bad luck with the uh, Hobby Lobby clearance. She keeps being in the hospital. You got it. I'm trying to stay away from the doctors, but I, you know, we all have something going on, you know. Somebody texted me. So nobody wants to come up and talk to me. Be on the panel. That's what they keep saying. This one was on this one's panel, and that one was on that one's panel. I mean, some people have six people on the panel, you know. That's all. You want to see my baby? I probably you've probably seen him already. Yes, from today. My new baby, my new grandbaby. He's he's tiny. He looks big in that picture, but he's not. He's tiny. Oh, so pro 
Proverbs, what's your name? Proverbs said she went, I assume a she, I'm not sure. I went to Hobby Lobby, spent $100 and got 10 bags of yarn. Well, I bought those Hanks and so they were more money. So I only got three bags of yarn. I spent less than that, but, you know. But I bought last year, last year I bought an awful lot because I kept going back, you know. Thank you. I kept going back last year. I was a bad girl. I kept going back. But then I I bought a lot of yarn from Walmart when they had the Christmas yarn. So I got too much yarn right now. I really don't have And I just bought a bunch of yarn at Michael's. I tried for like two months. I didn't buy yarn. And then I caved one day. And I kept buying and buying and buying. So it's, it's an addiction. I mean, I don't buy patterns, really. I have bought a few patterns, but I don't feel like I'm addicted to buying patterns, but I know that there's a lot of people that say they're also addicted to buying patterns. Oh, you got some Hanks as well. Hi, Rosie. How you doing? I This is my second grandson. My first grandson, he's uh, going on four. So he's a cutie too. So he's got to get used to having a little brother. He's got competition for cuteness now, you know? <laughs> That's all here. My husband got him a horsey. <laughs> we didn't need this thing in the house. It's too big, you know. But my husband went out. We showed him some home movies of our, you know, kids, his daddy. He he calls, he'll say, Andy Daddy. <laughs> my husband, my son is Andrew. So he'll say, Look at your your dad, Andy Daddy. That's him when he was little, and he's riding the horsey and riding the horsey. But this horsey like sings and talks. It's really it's it makes noises. Yeah, and he's a scared of like a lot of like we, he bought him already like ride on vehicles, and he's scared of noisy things. So like so far he doesn't mind riding this a little bit. You know? He goes to daycare. So today wasn't my day to babysit him, but I did go over to him. Did a few things over there with her. Got to hold the baby. He didn't make, so I didn't change his diaper. But I helped gave him a bottle. And he's and they live nearby. Oh. So but uh, he'll be four soon. But I don't think they'll be having any more. And then I have another son that just got married in January. So maybe next year. But they live far away. I don't live near them. That's all. I'm from New York, of course. So what were you saying? I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> Rosie, what are you saying about Brooklyn? I'm a Brooklyn girl. When I was in Brooklyn, no, I wasn't really, I wasn't crocheting. Yeah, they live in Brooklyn, my two son, youngest sons. And the one is married and one is single. You know. So I did, like I said, I did buy the yarn. I smuggled it in. <laughs> he can't tell. He can't tell how much yarn I have. I have so much. He knows I got yarn. Thinks, he thinks I have more yarn than the baby has toys. He doesn't stop buying toys for the baby. Like a ridiculous amount of toys. I even got him to... Oh, I lived all over Brooklyn, but the last place I lived was Marine Park. Oh, her name is Brooklyn Rose. That's a pretty name. I have a friend that names her daughter Brooke, and I think her middle name was Lynn. <laughs> Brooklyn in the house. Yeah, Debbie's from Brooklyn, too. Oh, so Rosie says, I was born in Pennsylvania, raised in Oklahoma, and now I live in Illinois. Okay. Yeah, I went to the, my honeymoon in Pennsylvania. You know? Those are some different places. I'm not familiar. I know people. I've known a few people that were from Oklahoma, but I don't see them anymore. Oh, you lived in Bay Ridge? I used to go to nightclubs back in the uh, 70s and 80s in Bay Ridge. Well, not the 80s, the 70s. So now you live in Pennsylvania? PA, as they call it. I have a brother that's living in PA. He lives in Pittston, PA. And I think it's near, I can't remember what it's near. Stroudsburg, maybe I'm not sure. Yeah, Debbie lived. I lived in Canarsie as well. I've lived all over Brooklyn. I lived in Sheepshead Bay. I lived on Fly East 
Flappish and Avenue K. And uh, where else? I lived in Canossi. And my kids are living in uh, Bensonhurst. Bensonhurst or what's this? I'm trying to remember the name of it. Uh-oh. It's like every neighborhood has a name, you know? But uh, my son lives, I think it's, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> He lives near Spumoni Gardens, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're not, but you know, there's a lot of people that live in Canada, Charlene, that they don't have Hobby Lobby and they won't even ship there or the, the prices are, there's a lot of, you know, then there's people that buy ice yarn, you know? I mean, sorry, I'm, we're making you jealous. Oh, thanks. You like my accent. Yep, the accent is not leaving town anytime soon. You know? So, oh. so it, it's raining this week. I looked at the forecast. Yeah, you got to talk to the chat. There's some people join through the uh, the link. I posted a link. Uh, it's only if you want to be on the screen. You know, like if you hit the link, you might be able to come up on the screen. If anybody wants to come up and show what they're making, you know, if you have something to show, some people like they hang out. It's like some of the channels, that's all they do is they all hang out together and talk and crochet at the same time or diamond paints or whatever they're doing. Yeah, I did work on this a little bit today. See, what do you, I like this color and I like that I found this zipper the other day at Walmart, see the green? So I had the yarn to go with it. That's why I bought it. Charlene's gonna come up. Let's cheer Charlene up. She's been in the hospital. Wait a second, I'm Hi. trying to add. Wait, I up on this thing one second i can't hear you yet i forgot i had the volume down because i was playing somebody's videos earlier and i yeah. turned it down. okay now i can hear you now you can talk hello everybody hi yes so. i am in this hospital dying i see everybody's yarn and i hear all the great prices and here I am, the fourth year in a row, <laughs> stuck in the hospital. Well, I never, I went, I only bought yarn last year and the year before, now this year. So this is the third year for me. Yeah. The first, the first year, the Hobby Lobby wasn't even near me. They didn't, they just opened one last year near my house. <laughs> so the year before, I had to drive, and this is the funny story. I don't know what I ate that day, but I drove and it was kind of far, maybe about 35 minutes, something like that. And then I had to drive 35 minutes and there wasn't much left. It was all picked over because I think it had been going on a while. Yeah. And I got some, I just took whatever was there and some of it I didn't even like, you know? So it's kind of like, oh, I found something, let me get it. <laughs> One was like that hell spun yarn, and I made a blanket out of it. It was okay. I, you know, I didn't even use all the yarn from the first year that I, I still have some nice sugar wheel, uh, the acrylic cakes, not the yeah. cotton. Yeah. So, I mean, it'd be nice baby blanket. I still have some. And I gave, wow. when I did my giveaway, I gave away three cakes from two years ago. And I gave yeah. away some yeah. other stuff from two years ago. I figured if I didn't use it by now, and I had made a shawl, I had uh -huh. left over. I was like, sometimes once I use a yarn and if I have left over, I may not want to use it again because I want to use something different. Yeah, they're telling you, Rosie's saying, Charlene, get well soon. Thank you. Rosie. Well, maybe this will cheer you up to get at It's kind of like hanging out with your friends. I know. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I think my husband has something to do with this hospital every time there's a yarn sale at Hobby Lobby. I think what? he's in, in cahoots with the doctors. Oh. Put her in. Put her in. Yeah, you, you know, you obviously would. They're not going to admit you unless you're really sick. Yeah. Hospital. 
Yeah, no, I I really needed to be in. And um, I went to the doctor on Monday, and she did a culture on my leg. And Mm -hmm. on Friday, she called and said, you've got to come uh, be admitted. So, yeah. Does she have an infection? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I've had uh, 143 surgeries on my legs, and uh, I look like a massive burn victim, but I'm alive, so. Oh, well, you got to keep fighting. Yes, 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 I do. Oh, but you got some crochet with you? Are you doing any crocheting, or or you're not motivated? I am. I'm working on some stuff. Uh, I had a a lady uh, approach me about doing a a yarn box working on uh being the designer for one of the yarn boxes every month really so yeah so july is going to be my month so i'm trying to work on that oh okay i never heard of that yeah you know these yarn boxes the the i I never ordered them i never ordered them yeah well i I got enough yarn around me that i don't need to to do that too (laughs) yeah well, I ordered, one, I think, two of them from her. Oh. Um, and, yeah, and so she sent me the yarn that is going to be in the yarn box for next month. So I'm trying to work on a design. Oh, for you're that. trying to make a pattern? Yes, I will make. Okay. It will be a pattern that's free to the people who subscribe to her yarn box. And then... Um, It'll be a pattern that I can put on Ravelry uh, for sale. Oh, so, okay. yeah. Sounds good. But, I never, I don't write patterns. Well, I'm, I think I'm trying. So, Debbie wants to know what the yarn box is called. Oh, I can't tell you that right yet. <laughs> it's, um, I, I just, I'm not supposed to tell that part yet until. Oh, is it, is July. it new? Is it no, new? it's not new, but um, yeah, they wanted me to kind of keep this under my hat. What's oh, okay, okay, yeah. Hi, Ellie, welcome in. So, what's in your Ellie? What, what's on your hook? What's in your cup? <laughs> and everybody else, too. So, the hubby went to the gym, it's been raining a lot today. It sounds like it's gonna rain all week, but it when it rains in Florida, it's like torrential, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I had the, the windshield wipers on high and it was like really hard to uh, see. <laughs> I was like, maybe I shouldn't have drove. To-. Like I was on my way to Hobby Lobby and like, you know, I got to like a certain point, like I guess a third of the way there and it started pouring. But then thank God after like another third of the way there, it stopped pouring and it's kind of like I drove out of it. I wasn't under the bad cloud. I was under like a, it was just drizzling. Yeah. Yeah. Ellie says she's making a triangle shawl and she has coffee in her cup. Yeah. How so, often do you get to see Aiden James every day? Oh, just, well, if I want to just go, like I could call right now because my daughter-in-law had a C-section. Yeah. And they sent her home after two days. Yeah. They used to send them home after a week. Then after it became a week. Like, I think the last time when she had a C-section with, with my other grandson, Hey, Veronica, what's in your cup? What's on your hook? Yeah, so she was in there like four or five days. Plus, she had been in the hospital because they tried to induce labor and like it didn't yeah. work. Out. I don't know. She just couldn't deliver naturally. Yeah. So she just scheduled it this time. It was easier for her not to have to go through all that pain just to be told you can't deliver, you know? Right. Like, you know, I think they could have said she could have tried if she wanted. Yeah. Plus he was yeah. big. He was big. He was eight, too. And the oh, last one was eight four. I had big babies yeah. too, you know. So yeah, but yeah, they live. I didn't go. I went there on Saturday, and he was asleep, so I didn't see him. And then we took our grandson swimming, and then I had a wedding. To go. I went to a wedding Saturday night because my friend's daughter got married, and she, they live in. She lives like it's, it was in Fort Lauderdale, so it was a little mm-hmm. bit of a drive. And I don't really like driving at night to places I'm not familiar with, but whatever. I use my GPS and it was okay. Yeah. And yeah. at this time, the wedding was nice, you know. And, you know, it, at least they had, you know, they had a pretty decent wedding. 
for uh, did you know, people have the to pandemic, wear masks? It's, huh? Did the people have to wear masks? No, no masks. No masks. That's if you wanted to wear one, you could wear one. If Florida's kind of open now. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. So well, if you go like to your doctors and like the hospital, they require it. Yeah. A lot of workers are required to wear it. But there's signs that say if, or like my church says, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear it. Yeah. If you want to wear it, you can wear it. Some people will wear it anyway. Yeah. I mean, some people had this virus in my church, let's say, so they're not running for the vaccine because they have some sort of immunity, temporary immunity, because I think after a certain amount of time, it wears off. But I don't yeah. want to talk about that, but, you know. But anyway, I did go to the wedding, and and it was nice. I, I didn't know that many people there. Yeah. I mean, I knew my friend. I knew her sister, and then she had a friend from high school. I thought high school from when we were younger that I knew. I kind of hung out with her. And I sat with some of her other friends. Like, I don't know. They tell you where to sit when you go to a wedding, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I didn't end up sitting with, with the one friend. But we had a nice time. They had a, they they actually had a baby, like, nine months ago. So, but they managed to, uh, whatever, get a wedding done, you know? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it happens that way, you know? You don't just get yeah. married yeah. because you're pregnant, like, you know? Uh -huh. We'd be marrying a jerk, but uh, they've been together a while, you know. Hey, oh, Crystal, yeah. how you doing? And hey, Janet, welcome in. Let's see what everybody's saying. Janet says hello to you too, and Crystal saying hi to me and you. And uh, Jane's here. Hi, Jane. How you been? Let's see. Anyway, there is a link here in case it went too far because sometimes the link gets lost, and you know, as the chat moves. If anybody wants to come up and show us what they're working on and say hello. Is Jane is the one from Crash No, Jane is from Be Yourself with Jane. She has a channel. Oh, okay. Okay. And I don't know if everybody here has channels. So Janet says, I just got home. She's making Bonnie Barker's Easy Cotton Shawl with Stitch Studio Cotton Colors. Sounds nice. I... Don't think I ever made anything from Bonnie Barker. I, I haven't. I've looked at her tutorials and maybe saved some of them. Kind of like I have like playlists. Tiger uh -huh. Dragon Girl is here. Hi, how you doing? So, you know, I've made a lot of shawls. And, you know, yeah. some of them I made more than once. I mean, I have one sitting here that I did. This one didn't have a tutorial. Something Rose recommended. And... This was the, uh, it's a wrap. It's really soft. It was the one with the four threads. And it's really, really soft. I wore it to that, uh, I went to, when did I wear it? I did go to a wedding. I think I, I didn't wear it to the wedding because it wasn't, I didn't make it yet. And there's somebody by the name of Hannah. Welcome in. So tell me what everybody's making. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I become a yarn and crochet mm -hmm. addict. Me too. I wasn't crocheting like before my grandson came, but I, my mom taught me and I did crochet when I was younger. Mm -hmm. But I only made a couple of things. And, uh, you know, you could learn that in my videos too. I talk about that. So yeah, Tiger yeah. Dragon Girl says that allergies are kicking her booty. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I just, I'm pretty lucky that I'm not having terrible allergies here. But over the years, I've had allergies. So one day, I don't know, I think... My husband has a bad habit of going out in the yard and like leaving the door open for the cat or the dog. And then let's see, I think he let a mosquito in and they love me. Had a couple of bites. I couldn't stop itching. So I had to take like an allergy pill. To help yeah. me. And I sprayed with Benadryl on my legs. Yeah. Like in the air, I'm in Florida. It's supposedly buggy here, you know? So like, I think I went out. If you go out in the evening and you try to take, a, I get all bitten up. You know, and he like it's it, after dusk, you know, like as soon as it gets a little dark. So yeah. Barbara yeah. says, no content. I just go around and support other channels. Water in the cup, beaded shawl on a hook. Yeah, I didn't do the beads. I, I did make a video encouraging other people to make the beaded, beaded items. You know, Lisa from Ladybird and another two people. I think it was Hitting Turnpike and another lady. Iris, maybe I can't remember now. There was, you know, putting out the challenge for the beady, 
the BD challenge. But I haven't been motivated to do the BD challenge. I don't know. Just doing what I do. Whatever, whatever, whatever inspires me. That's why I started doing these. You know? I made. I like, I like them. Yeah, they're fun to make. But I just ordered like from Amazon, I had a gift card. I ordered this watch band for my Fitbit. See? Yeah. Kind of mm -hmm. normal fit. The one I had just kept getting dingy looking, like those those rubber looking ones. And when I got it in the mail, it said I won a ten dollar I won a gift card. I scratched it, it was for ten bucks. So then it says email us and I emailed them. So I I didn't I had to cancel my prime because I'm gonna get my husband to put me on his. So I had like one day and I ordered it to get the free shipping. So I'm getting a bunch of zippers and hopefully they're good because they said nylon. And then when I was reading this green one was acrylic. I think it was acrylic. I'm not sure what this is actually. One of them was, she recommended the metal, but I, I didn't have a problem with these. They're not metal. Yeah. They, they, you can't make the stitches too tight. Then you crochet into the stitches. Yeah. Awesome. Ellie, what are you working on? Are you working on the little bags too? She says, that's what I'm working on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She she said that's what I'm working on, but I'm not sure if she means this. Maybe. Or well, maybe she's working on a beaded shawl. What are you working on? Oh, she's working with the beads. Barbara's working with the beads. Yeah, I do have a lot of beads. I did make stitch markers. You know? You're just talented. <laughs> uh, well, I'm talented because other people are talented and share their talents. Yeah. You know, I already knew how to crochet, but then when I had to relearn it, it wasn't so good for like over a year or two. Oh, the beaded shawl. Yeah, I haven't attempted the beaded shawl, but I'll do, try that. I, I have all this thin yarn now, so that would be, that would work. You know, I tried, made some beaded necklaces once. And, you know, it takes a, if you put the beads on, it takes a while, then sometimes the yarn twists. But she showed a way to do it without threading them all on, where you could pick up one at a time. But I haven't tried it, you know. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, well, like, I haven't. I've got a nurse yet. rolling in the door, so. Okay. Well. I have to go. Okay. Feel better. We'll talk Thank soon. Thank you. Talk right. to everybody soon. Bye bye. All right. Take care. Get well soon. Oh. Anybody want to come up and sh show what you're making? You want me to help you? I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> She didn't. She didn't know how to get off the thing. Anyway. Anyway, so Crystal, what have you been up to? Crystal from the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. She won one of my giveaways once. She's her channel's been growing a lot too. Oh, Jane says I've been making a shawl for the beat the bead contest. It's really a slow down, really slows down the process. Yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't motivated <coughs> to start it. I mean, I thought maybe I would because I do have beads, but I don't know if I'd have it, you know, enough for a particular project. I do have a lot of beads small ones and bigger ones because I was making stitch markers. So I, I'll do some of those occasionally, you know, but I finally did send out the, uh, my winner's package. Like she didn't get back to me really, you know, she was like a day or two late. So I figured, let me give her an extra day or two. She was away and that's why she didn't see the message. So Jeannie's here. Hi, Jeannie. Jeannie from Jeannie's Crochet Creations. I've started seeing project bags. I can't get to my yarn. So I started sewing. Oh, you're sewing project bags. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Because If I could sew, I've had a sewing machine many years ago. But I guess when the kids were small, how's my new grandbaby? He's delicious. <laughs> mm. I'll show you a picture. He's cute. He sleeps a lot. I think he's starting to sleep better. They 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 switched around his formula and his the type of bottle he was using. And then they like to keep it really cool at night. But they said they think he didn't like it. 
So then they turned, they made it hotter and he's sleeping better. I don't know. That's babies for you. Here he is sleeping on a pillow. It turned. I did post one or two pictures in the uh, whatchamacallit on Instagram. That's from today. So, you know, my daughter-in-law had the C-section. Actually, she's starting to go back to work next week part-time. But I think she works from home. And my son took, he took leave. He looks small, but he's over, he was over eight pounds. But I think they lose a little weight. So he's probably under the eight pounds. Like, I don't know. They took him to the, the pediatrician. My son took him. They said only one person could come and she can't drive. So he took him. He packed his little bag and he took him to the pediatrician. He's got a tongue tie. He's got to have that snipped. Like under there. I don't know. The other baby, my other grandson had it. It can affect your speech or make it difficult for you to brush your teeth or something. I don't know. His isn't as bad as my other grandson. You know? So they, they do it right in the doctor's office. Like somebody, a special doctor comes in to do it. They numb it, then they snip it, and then it he the mouth heals really quickly. So, but I mean, worse things could happen. You know, your kid could be born with other things. His name's Adrian, Adrian James. And my other grandson's almost four. So tomorrow I babysit him and we pick him up from the daycare in the afternoon. So we've been entertaining him. He, they gave him like a couple of days off from school, from the daycare. They thought maybe he'd enjoy being home with the baby. Oh, Veronica has a giveaway if you're interested. And, uh, you know, and then like on Friday, they sent him to school. <laughs> I guess, you know, because he keeps wanting you to play with him. Like, you know, and my daughter-in-law, she's had a C-section. So he wants her to sit on the floor and she... He, she keeps telling him I can't. She showed him the boo boo and said, I can't sit on the floor for a while. You know, so then they just said, Oh, Friday, they said, Oh, we're going to send him to school. Let him go to school. And we picked him up. I think, I think we picked him up. After, no, I didn't pick him up. I don't pick him up anymore on Fridays. I used to pick him up on Fridays. Anybody else want to come up and show what you're making? And talk to me. I know sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes I want to go up at night and you know, maybe I'm not dressed or something. So I don't want to go up, you know, or my husband will complain. I'm being noisy, you know, but, uh, I did, Veronica, I did buy some yarn. I didn't go too crazy, but I got a bunch of these. I guess these cost me the most because they were almost four dollars each, and I got like three or four different ones. I think I like this one the most. I don't know if you were here earlier. Showed it earlier. Then there was this one. Kind of like got like streamers going through there, different colors. Oh, so you you dye yarn, Hannah? Yeah, I'm not interested in doing any yarn dyeing. I'm not interested in designing anything. Maybe in a few years I'll be interested in doing stuff like that. I'm just too busy, you know. I'm just interested. Now I just want to stop buying yarn so I could just crochet. You know, the buying yarn is almost more fun than to crochet sometimes. You know? What do you <coughs> I mean? I'm always making something. Yeah, I got some good clearance, but I think last year I bought a ridiculous amount because I kept going back, you know, and I have still have plenty from last year that I didn't even use. It's okay, Janet, because I don't know how long I'm going to stay on. It says here it's almost an hour, and I haven't done a live in a while. So, oh, Debbie, you're going to do the, what, you're going to work over the little bags? 
you'll have to tell me i have you'll have to tell me how that goes and show me a picture after you make one how many bags did you order like some people are buying like little canvas bags that already have a zipper and then they somehow crochet on the zipper and then make it up so you don't have to like you have kind of like a lined bag so this one doesn't have a lining you know it's but because it's a tight stitch like stuff isn't going to fall out so you know it could be a nice little gift to give to someone or i could put crochet hooks in there or some kind of makeup type stuff oh so tiger dragon girl says her allergies are so bad right now i almost sound like a female version of darth vader you know i've been working with uh some editing software from when i made some videos and there's one in there that you can edit your voice to make it sound different you know or you could speed it up and it kind of oh yeah i'm saying i i wanted to see it after you do it <laughs> anyway <laughs> Like I said, I just ordered a bunch of zippers. We'll see if they're any good. Yes, that's Tina T's pattern. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy to make. You know, you just kind of make a straight line on this thing and you kind of, you know, when you have a zipper, you know, I got an, I have one empty zipper here. Like I bought a couple at Walmart. I bought one at Michael's. I bought seven inch zippers. I thought, and I think I ordered six inch. So they're probably going to be more like this size. Hey, Consuelo, how you doing? Yeah, I got one, one more zipper. I got a black one with the metal. See. So you want to you crochet this like a? It's an embroidery stitch. It looks almost like a a. Uh, Consuelo says, I need to fix my voice. Did you lose your voice? Oh, Jordan's in the house. Jordan, you want to come up and hang out with mommy and her friends? Or, or, or you're not you're not that brave. Oh, and there's my other son, Greg. <laughs> Two of my kids are in the house. I dare you to come up and talk to me in person. And let it, all the ladies see my gorgeous sons. I love you, boy, guys. Anyway, so you crochet, you like do this embroidery strip. Where's my man? Oh, here. I'll show you my mannequin. I just didn't. It's here. My son and his wife bought me the mannequin for Mother's Day. This I made a while ago. It's a hexagon uh, party. Got to keep it dressed. I moved the I moved the mannequin around because she gets in the way. So like if I got to get in the closet. <laughs> yeah, I know it should be in the background. I just you know didn't move it. I forgot to move it. I was showing them the yarn that I bought today. See, Jordan, mommy likes to shop for yarn. Did I name? Did I name the mannequin? I was going to call her Bobby for Grandma Bobby. Grandma Bobby used to uh, crochet and knit. What do you think? You like that name or you think I should go with something else? But it wasn't really official. Should I name the, the mannequin Jordan? <laughs> what about you, Greg? Do you think, you think I should come up with a name for my mannequin? Jordan? Jordan and his wife, they, they ordered me the uh, the mannequin. As I mentioned, I was in the market thinking about buying one. You know? so it looks nice. I like I always like putting my new stuff. You approve? Okay. So look, Jordan, I'm making little bags. See? They have a zipper. It's like a pencil case. Hey, Liliana, how you doing today? Yeah, it was very nice of them. My daughter-in-law and my son surprised me for Mother's Day, and they flew in from New York. You know? So I was very surprised. I did the same thing to him for his 30th birthday party. Massiel, my, my beautiful daughter-in-law, Massiel. Is she there too? Is she watching with you? Or is she out to... Uh, 
doing something. You know? So this is what I've been making. What else is here? <clears throat> so what's everybody making? Nobody wants to come up and hang out with me. Name it Massiel. <laughs> Jordan, did you see this? I bought this. Like if you want to read in the dark or I want to crochet and it's dark and I don't want that big light, big hot lamp on top of me. <clears throat> you with Greg? That's why you came on. So were you at Greg's house or at your house? So Legacy Crusaders is my son, Greg. Oh, Greg's there eating Taco Bell. What's M-A-S-S-I-J? I don't know how to pronounce that. So you, oh, you have one of these Tiger Dragon Girl? What's your name? I'm sorry. You might have told me once. Did I miss anybody? Yeah, please hit the like button. You'll be back, Veronica. Veronica, have you bought the the light? She's gone. I think she's stepping out for a minute. Massey J. Who's J? <laughs> yeah, I've managed to do crochet with black. Didn't need a. I always use the lamp, but sometimes it's just too hot. You know, I feel like I'm start, like I start to feel like my hands are getting sweaty. Like if I have that big, so that I use that lamp still a little bit. I'm going back and forth. With Jay for Jordan. I don't call him Jay. I don't know if I want to name the mannequin after Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, what do you think of that? Do you think I should name the mannequin after you or grandma? <laughs> you know? Mm. My mother-in-law, she could knit and crochet. She once made me a top, and I don't know what happened to it. It was a crocheted top. But she made some really nice knitted sweaters for my kids. You know? Oh, you bought an LED overhead lamp. You know? Well, I used to call my, my mother-in-law's nickname was Bobby. Her name was Roberta. Yeah. Okay, Crystal. Let me, I maybe need to put the link again. There's the link. Well, I appreciate my son's coming to visit me. I haven't made a live in weeks. It might be a month, you know? And I figured since the hubby went to the gym, I figured it was a good time to do it. I don't see you yet. Like all of a sudden, I'll see her. I'll see the person in the, like we call it the basement. Oh, there she is. Hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> I'm good. What's how are you? I'm good. Getting a slight headache. I don't know. Oh. Okay. It was crazy weather today. And I was like, I need to go see if they have any yarn. You know, have you gone been to Hobby Lobby? We went on Friday, no markdowns yet. We called oh. today, no markdowns yet. Don't call, just go. Is it very far? About 15 I don't minutes. Um, I would just show up there because I was there last week and there was no markdowns. And then today I was like, ah, oh, there probably isn't any. And all of a sudden I saw one sticker and I was like, oh. So I ran over to the, the hand dyed yarn section because I wanted that. Because I'm not going to buy $30 yarn, you know? Yeah. So for yeah. like almost $4, dollars, I got three of each. So maybe I can make something. That's I got awesome. three of yarn anyway. I'm out of control. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I don't know. My stash has exploded in the last year, year and a half. Hi, yeah. everyone. <laughs> I, I was not expecting to be on camera. That's why my hair is all a mess. I was sitting here watching TV. I just, I just took a shower, so my hair looks good for a change. It was dirty earlier. Mine it's is weird. real frizzy. So. I get oily. I get oily. 
It gets like yeah. pieces, you know. That's all. Well, you wanted to see what I've been working on. This was the beaded shawl that I did for Ladybird's challenge. Okay. And hard to see the beads. Okay, I'm gonna look for that. She wants the tutorial, but I got it. Can you see them? Yeah, I see it now. There's pink and red on here, and this was made with ice cream big scoop, uh, cherries jubilee color. It's pretty color, and that is a pattern I designed. Uh, one second, I'm sorry. So, somebody's asking for the tutorial, I think, for maybe the little purses. But I can't put links because I'm on StreamYard. They won't, you know. I don't know. I'm I, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put the link below this video when we, when I'm finished, and then you'll be able to come back and look for it later. You understand? All right. Go ahead. Talk to me. <laughs> Hi, Liliana. Hi. Um, I was trying to say uh, Debbie loves yarn. Hi. I just saw that they said hello. <laughs> And this is the same pattern, but it's made with uh, Horizon Hobby Cakes. Uh, or should I say Hobie's Horizon oh. Cakes. <laughs> I think I have a little Hobie on, but it's not that kind. <laughs> well, I bought this when it was on sale, and I love it. It's premium acrylic, so soft, and I love the colors. Um, and it's two different uh, cakes. Like this color is one different one and then this one is another one so. yeah, and you probably i wouldn't have known if you didn't tell me <laughs> and these are my little soap bar bags that i designed and they have like a little knot that you well i can't even find it there i've and made so you i've made them. those kind of things in the past and then you just take your bar of soap out Right. Or leave it in because it's made with cotton, so you could wash with it if you wanted to. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna look for that. Uh, one second. You could keep talking. I'm looking for that tutorial. Oh, I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna try to post it from my phone. I could maybe Thank do it you, from Janet. Phone. Huh? I was just saying thank you to Janet. She said the shawl is lovely with the beads. Yeah, I like the idea with the beads. It it was a challenge. Um, I had never done anything beaded in my life. <laughs> and well, like Lady Bird put up this challenge and I'm like, that would be very interesting. I've never done anything beaded. So I kind of took up the challenge and started it and watched her tutorial on how to put the beads on. and. I think I finished it probably in two weeks. Oh, cool. So, well, I, somebody else said it kind of slows you down doing the beads. It, it does, like, but like maybe hook, I was able to fit five beads on at one time. So that was like at least five stitches worth. <laughs> so, so you were like picking them up with your hook, like she was showing yeah. in her video. I have to yeah. go back and look at her video. I seen a little bit of it, but I didn't see the whole yeah. thing. Because I have a lot of. I have a lot of these, it's, it's a wrap cakes and it's really thin yarn, so. Yeah. But I can't see beading, like putting all the beads on because like sometimes the yarn tangles, you know? I've made earrings and I put beads on those. Yeah. And, you know, I was on an earring kick a couple of weeks back, but then I went back and they made some shawls. <coughs> so, so what else is going on? I think you were collaborating with somebody with something. Um, actually, it's my 500 subscriber giveaway, and oh, okay. I had hit 500, and I asked five other channels to help me celebrate. Connie oh. from Just Another Stitch, Case Crochet Haven, uh, Jamie's Hooked, Cindy Malter, and Coping with Yarn. I asked them to help me celebrate. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, congratulations. It's, it's I've been a little busy the last couple of weeks with the new baby, you know? Yeah, well, that's understandable. A little baby's a handful. <laughs> Plus, we still watch the other, the other boy, you know, the little boy, my grandson, because that's his brother. And my collaboration, I kind of took um, the idea that Dana Wonderlust Christmas in July fairies. It's similar, but it's not exactly the same. So she was my inspiration for the whole thing. 
Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people doing that kind of thing. You know? mm -hmm. That's all. Like, it does. It's good to help each other. Yeah, it is. We don't get here by ourselves anyway. No, no. It's, it's our subscribers that do it. Well, normally if I see that, you know, somebody subscribes to me and not, you can't always tell because if they're set as private, I can't tell that they subscribed. Mm -hmm. But if I see someone subscribed, if they have content, I'll usually just subscribe back. I try to do the same thing too. You know, a lot of people don't do that. <laughs> well, and I'm always trying to tell, like, there's a couple of uh, newer people people that were just subscribers and I noticed they changed their names and I'm like are you fixing to start a channel well and they're like no not right this minute but I'm I'm planning on it and I go well let me know when you do and I'll definitely give you a shout out and also I tell them that Connie does shout out Thursdays and Lady Bird does building creative bridges on Sundays and all you got to do is just send them an email and she'll give you they'll both give you shout outs right I think Lady Bird gave me a shout out once. <laughs> I was on that once. You know? Cool. Well, you know, and then I've gotten a lot of people just from being in the lives. Yeah. Like you on yeah, my lives, so they'll see crystals. So I don't know. I don't think I think I don't think you're a mod. I could make you a mod if you want to put your link. Give me a minute. Because I gotta do it on my phone because I'm in StreamYard, you know? Wait, I'm on the wrong thing. Me and Janet. Oh, I can't. I can't even find my video on my phone. <laughs> I I do everything mostly from my computer, or I film on my phone, like my videos. But um, I can't imagine going live on a on a phone. It's so small. I'm on the laptop. <laughs> Well, that's I, what I'm on. I too. haven't gone live on my phone, but I do make videos on my phone because I edit in a software on my phone. Mm -hmm, me too. I found it was working good because I had some software on my laptop and the mouth kept getting messed up. You know, the talking kept getting messed up. You know? So that's all. Oh, so Jeannie says, I'm subscribed to tons, but I've got. 696 well it takes time you know i've been i've had a channel for like two years and in the beginning i only like made a video like maybe once a week mm -hmm. and then i wasn't doing it then i kind of slacked off a little then i picked up a little bit i wasn't really trying very hard you know what i mean yeah but i i mean i don't plan on making any right now i don't see myself making any you know, membership things you know i don't have time to do extra stuff you know you're lucky I'm making content. <laughs> you know, if I make something, I want to show it. If I go shopping, I'll show you. You know, and occasionally a live is nice. Oh, so she doesn't. Yeah, I think that some people don't expect to get big and become big. People just like them, you know. Some people like say they like my accent. Some people may hate my accent. I like it. Thank you. <laughs> but I love accents, no matter what accent. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's part of your personality, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't even find my video. Oh, it's not coming up. My, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Now maybe I can. I know you comment. Um, I do go live every Tuesday at 12 noon Central Time and then every Friday evening at 6 30 Central Time. So. Oh, there you are. You've been modified. Well, thank Moderated. you. <laughs> if you want to put your link. Well, Leanna says she likes my accent. Uh, I mean, there's, um, on my end, there's no actual box to post anything. <laughs> there's no chat, no. Oh, because you're in the phone. Is that your phone? No, I'm on a laptop. Oh, you're on the laptop. So it should be on the right side. It should be on the right side. And then it, it should, there's like a tab that says comments. And then you click on that. Well, yeah, I can see the comments, but there's no, no place to type, no place to post. Oh, anything. that happens to me sometimes. You might have to scroll it down because it might disappeared and I, it came back. I could comment in there. Sometimes I can't find the comments on when I'm on somebody's thing. I'm not sure. Well, you could uh, even go in your phone. Hannah, um, my well, channel 
is um, I, I have a, a few tutorials on my channels. I do two lives a week. Um, I have a Yarn Talk Thursday that shows what I'm working on. And um, I do animal plant type videos on Mondays. Cute. And whatever <laughs> else in between. I just I just do videos when uh, when I'm in the mood, when I have something to show. I try I don't to have keep it schedule so I don't get out of the habit of not filming. This I like top to I made is from, I'm oh, sorry. My top is from Cinnamon Stitches. She has a tutorial. Yeah, let me find it. I can't know. Because I have my, I found the video finally on my phone. Whoops, I put the wrong pin number on my phone. It keeps <laughs> logging, logging me out, you know. So what else is doing? So what's on your hook right now? Do you have it handy? Um, Actually, I do. One second. Connie from Just Another Stitch has designed a, a scarf and it's called her Patriotic Dream Scarf. And I'm testing out her pattern. Oh, that's nice. And it's made with the waffle stitch. Uh, it was supposed to be, this color is maroon and it was supposed to be red. I did not have enough red to do it in. So I had it's to, like I had a to do it in a similar color like a reddish of any sort and she said that's fine you can change all the colors if you want to but i still went with the red white and blue theme sure i could look good in any colors i'm pretty sure it would it's it's interesting she did a good job designing it all right i'm, I'm putting that link with the top that i'm wearing is a tutorial and it was and i used that this kind of yarn that i just bought the sugar wheel cotton and it's soft oh, okay. and, That's and she explains how how to make it she doesn't really tell you how many chains to do she tells you how to make it long enough that you could get it over your head i guess if you have mm -hmm. a big head you want to make it a little bigger mm -hmm. and she tells you how to make it hey aj how you doing welcome in Hey Katrina, how you doing? Welcome in. So, what's in everybody's cup? What's on your hook? I'm, I'm just, just making it water. I showed I showed what I bought already. My husband's home from the gym now. Well, you know, I'm making these things. So, did you ever try to crochet? Crystal? Do I? Have you ever tried to do mosaic crochet? Like, no, not it's yet. It's so easy if you're interested. Tina's I, really I, I do think I want to try it at some point, but I haven't yet. <laughs> I hear you because, like, I haven't tried like a graph gan, you know, like I've done corner to corner, but I haven't tried graph gans, and I'm not that motivated because it's too much, too much thinking, you know. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I've always wanted to try a graph gan, but I've never had the courage to do it. Eventually, one day I will, though. I, I've been making more tops and stuff like that, you know, like wearable type stuff. Yeah. I do, I do make a lot of shawls, but how many shawls can you make? But I think like some of those thin yarns, I'm going to try to make tops, summer tops, because I'm in Florida and it's basically hot here like most of the year. Yeah. It's not like New York. You know? It got right. up to 95 today here in Texas. But it felt like it was 110. Oh, yeah. It gets my sister's in Texas and it gets really hot there. I've visited, but not for a long time. It doesn't even get as hot here because, like, as soon as it hits like a little too hot in the afternoon, it will get rain and they'll cool off. But w when it rains here, it's like torrential. Sometimes the parking lots will flood. It's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> One time I came out of the dentist and I tried to get to my car and the water was up to my ankle. So, oh, no. yeah, I think it's just like the drains, you know, the sewer or whatever, the drains for the rain, like, got overwhelmed, you know. Mm. So, so, anyway, okay, I'm glad I broke the ice and I did a video tonight, you know. It's kind of late, getting late. I'm only going to stay a few more minutes. Yeah, it's 8.24 here. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but it's uh, it's nine twenty-four. You're an hour ahead, I think. Nine twenty-four. Right, and now the man's home. So, <laughs> so when I sit here too long, my back starts to hurt, and I, I don't see. like it. I don't like to crochet when I'm on the uh, live because I I feel like I'm making a mess, like I make mistakes. Yeah, I make mistakes. Uh, I try to never crochet and and like I can't I can't even watch TV because I'll sit there and I'm looking at the TV. I'll look at the TV and not I'll stop crocheting completely oh. and watch TV. Or I I'll concentrate on the crochet and miss what's going on on, on the TV. <laughs> I'll definitely maybe crochet and listen to the TV and sometimes I won't even be paying attention to it. You know. Mm -hmm. I definitely have to look at my work. To a certain yeah. degree, you know. So I'm somebody's asking Southeast, you what part of Texas you're in. Southeast Texas, um, around the Houston area. Oh, you're in Houston, like near Houston. Oh, around it. Around it. My mm -hmm. sister's near Dallas. I'm in she between Houston and Dallas, somewhere in there. Oh, okay. I hear you. <laughs> it's a big state. Yeah. It is. Like Florida is a big state too. Mm -hmm. Like my son was thinking about, I think my sons were in here before, but I, they probably left by now. So one of my sons was saying maybe he'd come in the summer because he didn't come when my other son came for Mother's Day. And he was thinking about, he wanted to go see a, he likes wrestling, to see a wrestling show. But it's in Jacksonville and I'm in, I'm practically in Miami. So I said, that's like a six hour drive because he wanted to rent a car. You know, it's not exactly around the corner. And even yeah. New York is huge. Like New York City is all the way at the bottom, and then you got all New York State. Like it's yeah. like farms in the country. You know, my brother lives upstate New York. Oh, uh, somebody Susan said her little sister lives in Houston. Okay. Uh, what's every so? Uh, that's all. Did everybody get the AJ? Did you did you visit Hobby Lobby? I know, I know that Veronica did. <laughs> like in Brooklyn, there's no Hobby Lobby in New York City. I don't no, know where. They, I don't know. Maybe there's one. I don't know where there's one in New York, or if there's one in New York. But when I lived there, I wasn't crocheting. Mm -hmm. That's all. Ugh, this light is starting to cook me. It's too hot. I'm, I'm plugging on. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> it's starting to glisten. It's starting to glisten. You know, anyway, this was really easy. Later, I'm going to maybe put the link for this tutorial. For these, they're really easy. This is like all single crochet, basically, except for some doubles. It makes the design. Mm -hmm. It's like five singles. And you're working in the back loop only. And then when you do the double, you go down one row and you do a double. So easy. And I did a big blanket once. But I don't need big blankets, so I'm not doing it anymore. Oh, okay, so... AJ says, I did get 18 balls of yarn and three of them were hanks of wool. I got the hanks of wool. I bought four different ones and I bought three of each. I don't know if I need it that much. <laughs> like maybe I shouldn't have done that. Get but, it while well, the getting's good, as my grandmother saying. I already have too much. And I have a bunch of other yarn that's shawl for top friendly. No, maybe I wouldn't wear wool as a top, but I have some of the it's a wrap, you know, I'll show you one second. You've probably seen them before. Same here too, Liliana. Uh, our clearance is not marked. I mean, we don't have a clearance going on yet. I have some more, but it's not here. I got, this one has the one thread. Mm -hmm. I picked five, but then now I can get these for free. Hmm. Ooh, I like that color. So, like these would be good for a top for the summer. Mm -hmm. because I've made tops with number three yarn and they're still too heavy, you know. Mm -hmm. And this one has the four threads. And this one had the four, this shawl has the four threads. This is this kind of yarn, and it's so soft, it's like butter, you know. Oh, AJ's got to go back to work. Okay, AJ, thanks for stopping by. Would you say, Veronica, I get ten or off total that wool yarn? What, what do you mean? You got you got ten, 10 of those? Well, I bought three of each because I figured to make a decent shawl, you need three. I like a thousand yards, you know? 
Like yeah. two would be 800, and I don't think 800 is enough for a good size shawl. Well, I know when I did this one, the beaded shawl, there was yeah. it was a ice cream big scoop, and it has 1,117 yards. I didn't use the whole thing, but I'm I'm estimating about 900 to a thousand yards is what that shawl did. <laughs> right. I've heard of that before. Fiber Spider's done shawls with the ice cream big scoop mm -hmm. on a couple of his tutorials, and they work up nicely. I think I have yeah. some ice cream type yarn and a girly kind of color that I bought last year there on clearance. I just, I could have bought more yarn. I was tempted, <laughs> you know? Um, I know our clearance, are you okay? What? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, well, you were grabbing your neck. I didn't know if you hurt Ah, I was leaning. <laughs> I do this. Okay. I do this. I'll go like this. <laughs> okay. Um, I know our Hobby Lobby clearance last year happened early July. So I'm betting in the next couple of weeks or so is when they'll do it here. Yeah, well, last year my Hobby Lobby opened in July and they had it in August. Oh, wow. It was a brand new store. But it was just later in the year. But I would just keep going there every week and checking. I wouldn't wait. Because then you may not get the stuff you really want. Yeah. This time I kind of knew what I wanted. I wanted the, the sugar wheel cotton. I wanted the those gradient cakes. You know, you saw them? You were here early? Uh, I think, no. I just came uh, about 20 I minutes ago. Ooh, those are pretty. So I got a blue, a pink one, and a and a, a yellow. With, you know, so but they have they had a teal. I didn't buy the teal. I don't know. Well, I wanted those, and they were two dollars and twenty four cents or something. Yeah, two twenty four. That's not bad. And but I I bought two of each because I don't think one's enough. Yeah. You know, because it is fine, and when you have a really fine yarn, it takes more yarn to make it. it takes longer to. But uh, we'll see. I'll have to start something with one of these. You know, and I've seen these and wanted them before, and they were like, "What? Let me see the price." Here's the pink one. Mm, that one is really pretty. You know, then every other week they become thirty percent off. And they yeah. used to have forty percent off coupon for a regular price, but I kept saying I should get. I still was being too cheap. I knew eventually, maybe this year they would have some of those on clearance. Because last year I bought the fuzzy ones. I had it was like a fuzzy yarn. It's in the same section. Yeah. I bought. I gave some of that away in my giveaway. I was like, bought too much of it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that I don't want to use it. I have some anniversary cakes I got not that long ago. At Michael's for like five dollars each. They were originally thirty five. I was gonna say those. That's a good deal. I got one of it, three different colors, so <laughs> could make a nice lapkin or something. You know, I was yeah. even thinking about making putting two together. Oh, Crystal, um, she can't find your channel. Can you you could post your link because I made I modify I moderated you. I don't have a place to post is what I'm saying. There is no oh, okay. Let me either. see. I'll try to do it. Give me a minute. Sorry. It's okay. You can find the spot. I'll look you up. Keep talking. Um, well, well, I did see on Rose Likes Crochet, her channel, her Hobby Lobby haul, and the Purple Yarnivores haul, and one other one. And then I was like, we need to go. Because they had uploaded them, I think, Thursday night, and I, me and my grandmother were watching them, and I'm like, we got to go tomorrow, and they didn't have anything on clearance. So I'm like, man. <laughs> and then I she got, called today, but we then we got busy. No, they still don't have it. Later on, we never went back. I mean, we didn't go to town today, so we never went and checked for ourselves. But on Rose Lake's crochet, crochet channel, she got the Rainbow Rhapsody yarn. And I'm hoping they put that on clearance because... This is Rainbow Rhapsody. 
Well, there's this, okay, yeah, I'm saying there's one specific color that I've been having my eye on. What? Yeah, but I'll tell you which colors was the blue, the yellow, the teal, and the pink. There's other colors there I like better, but they're not on clearance. That's what I'm so, saying. Yeah. I'm hoping that they put them on sale, but they're probably not going to. <laughs> but you never know. Like, you never know if the difference. I don't know, because I was going to Michael's and they kept having certain ones on clearance in one store and not on clearance in the other. But I don't know if that's the case at uh, Hobby Lobby. They tend to put it, whatever they discontinue, they put on clearance. Angela writes here. Hi, Nancy, Crystal, and everybody in the chat. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. She's in Columbus, Georgia. Okay, so Susan went over and joined your family. Thank you, Susan, and um, you. thank you, Kay, also for dropping the channel, and thank you, Nancy. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, I'm going to call it a night. It's sort of um, getting getting late. I've been here. Thanks to everybody for coming and watching and participating and we're throwing yawn in Crystal's window. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, Oh, so Liliana says she loves the colors. Anyway, it's pouring like crazy again. It's that it comes like hurricane seasons, I guess, you know. Because I'm in South Florida, it's tropical. <laughs> good night, Debbie. Oh, Jeanette. Oh, I was just saying good night, Jeanette. Thanks for coming in, though. Hi, Jeanette. Bye, Jeanette. <laughs> Hello, Jeanette. Sorry. I'm here like an hour and a half. I'm on a three up. I think the most I've stayed is an hour and 40 minutes, you know? I'm not, I'm I, think, a, I think that's the longest I've been on myself was I, an hour and 42. I got a husband, so. <laughs> so I don't want to stay too long, you know? I prefer to do my live when he's out. Which pattern are you supposed to? She posted the link for the pattern. You mean the pattern for the, I don't have a pattern. I posted the link for tutorial. I don't have a pattern. I don't have a written pattern. You mean the top? Susan, you mean the top or you mean the little bag? Tracy Nickel from Fiber Arts. Hi, how you doing? I'm not sure which one she's referring to. We posted the tutorials for the top and for the and for the little the little bags. You know, but I don't have a written pattern. Oh, she okay. says no the bag. I don't have a written. She might have a pattern, but I. She does have a pattern, <laughs> but I don't have it. I mean, I posted the tutorial. Maybe underneath. Let me look. Give me a minute. I'll look. I'll look. I'll look. I have it saved in my in my YouTube. Do you keep playlists? Yes, I do have playlists. Yeah, but I mean, I have play, playlists, but you know. I saved it in my watch later, that one. Let me see if I can find the pattern. But she has a good tutorial. She shows you what to do on the zipper, you know? Okay, one second. Let's see. Here it is. I got the pattern. All right, one minute. I got to get the link. I'm working on it. She's working on it, guys. <laughs> I copied it. Now I got to go back to my video. I've bought a couple of her patterns actually a while back, but I only made, I made a shawl, which I made a lot of mistakes, a mosaic shawl. I kind of messed it up. And then I made her Havana blanket and it comes with like a lot of little charts, which you can make anything. Hmm. Let's see if that worked. I thought I posted it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Did it pop up? Yeah, it popped up. Okay, that's the pattern for the little bag. Okay. But she has a tutorial, which is very helpful. It's just how you start it is you can crochet this thing around the, uh, the zipper. It's sort of an embroidery stitch, but it looks like a chain, and it goes... You start like all the way, you go all the way around. Right? You can't see. And then you kind of have like a chain and then you crochet into the chain. And she shows you how to do it. 
she takes her time, you know, so she's very thorough and she's funny too. And you'd like her. Well, All whenever right. um, the, whenever I can get back to read the chat, because I know it takes a day or so before the chat comes up, I will come back and get that link. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, well that's, all right. or maybe I'll try to post it below later. Then okay. you wouldn't have, you could check, but give it a day. <laughs> give it a day, because it's late. I'll try to get it done tonight or tomorrow. Okay. You know? Well, thank you for having me on. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're welcome. Thanks to everybody for coming. All right, I'm going to sign mm -hmm. off. Come again. I'll try to do this again soon. I won't wait so long, okay? Bye.